I'm Mrs. York and this is the Stacks of Cups performance task. Are you ready? Let's take a look at the scenario. Let's take a look at question number three. It says your teacher thinks that instead of having to figure out these stacks each time, it would be useful to understand the general relationship. I agree. So we're going to write an equation expressing the relationship between the height of the stack and the number of the cups in the stack. Let h represent the height of the stack in centimeters and n the number of cups in the stack. Okay, so we're going to write an equation and it gives us some initial information about the variables for that equation. It says let h represent the height and n represent the number of cups in each stack. Okay, so the height is equal to so let's take a look at these stacks again. So in each stack, we have the bottom cup. And then there are two cups in this stack, so there are two lips. And in this stack, we have the bottom of the cup. And there are four cups, so we have four lips. So remember how in the last problem we were able to solve for the width of the lip of each cup, which is equal to 2. So the height is always equal to the number of cups times 2, which is how many centimeters each lip is, but it's also equal to this base right here. So we need to figure out what this base is of the cup. So if we have 2, plus two for each lip in a stack of two cups. And the total height of the stack is 16. So this is equal to four. The difference between four and 16 is 12. So the base of the cup is 12. Let's test that over here. We say that the base of the cup is 12. Each lip is equal to two. The height of this stack is 20. So we have 12 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 20. So we can write an equation that tells us the height of the stack is equal to 2, which is 2 centimeters, times the number of cups, plus the height of the base, which is 12. So h is equal to 2 and plus 12. And that's the equation that will help us to determine the height of any stack we see in the catalog. And that's all we need to do to solve problem number three.